Hey guys, show you a new product by Orion Telescopes. This is the CT80. It's got an 80 millimeter aperture, 400 millimeter focal length, and a 1.25 inch rack and pinion focuser. Don't confuse this with the ST80. I believe that's been discontinued also, but there's two main reasons. Some people use them as cheap primaries. And if you notice, these are the 90 millimeter rings sold by Orion. These will fit the ST80, but it will not fit this. It's, it doesn't have the same barrel diameter. And that also applies to GSO focusers that are specifically for ST80s. It does have the Orion standard finder shoe, so it'll fit your 9x50s and that sort of thing should you want to use that. Focusers a little bit smaller, but it's, it feels pretty good. It's, it's not a great focuser, but it works. It has a lock and knob. Optically, it's a little different than what you're used to with the ST80. With the ST80, you had to use an extension tube a two inch extension tube in order to get prime focus with a DSLR. On this model you don't. You can attach your camera directly to it with a T adapter and you'll be able to get focus so right around in this area here. It's really short, compact, very high contrast and really wide field. Crown and flint glass is what they've used and it's an acromat. It does suffer from quite a bit of uh, distortion and also from chromatic aberration and I'll show you that in a minute. So as a guide scope it's amazing anybody looking to, to use something in this focal length this field of view highly recommend it. So just for fun I hooked this up as my primary telescope and shot a few exposures various targets I was impressed with the contrast. It's really good. So, again, as a guide scope, amazing. I know a lot of people that spend hundreds to thousands of dollars. They get the stuff out there one night, and before you know it, it ends up in a closet. So, if you're just testing the waters, this might be a good option for you because you can customize it how you want to by whatever finder you want and it's a good wide focal length to just get started and that's not very demanding on a tracking system if you're around 400 millimeter I mean you're you're aware that there's a lot of camera lenses in that range but for $109 yeah it's a good starter scope I would say great for uh, visual use Especially if you have children, if they destroy it, you're not out of a whole lot. So there you go for that. I think they did a good job with this. As selling it as a guider is it's great. It supplies really good views, really wide field, and it doesn't put any additional strain on your system. Plus it's short enough to stay out of the way, as I mentioned. Excellent product by Orion Telescopes. For astrophotography, it's, it's not something anybody serious would, would be interested into, but it's something that you could use to immediately get started with just a T adapter. And like I said, you can customize it yourself. It's already ready to go on a good mount. So spend all your money on your mount. Don't, if you have a limited budget and you had, say you had $500, no more than a hundred should be invested into the scope. I mean, use that whole $400 for the mount. The mount is so much more important. So if you've reached the bottom of your wallet and you just need something to get into the hobby with, not a bad idea. My friend Jeff Lucas also has some reviews of this product and I'll leave the links at the end of this video so you can check that out if you're interested. But again, amazing little guide scope and uh, the possibility of being an entry-level telescope also. Really lightweight, impressed with it. Another good product by Orion Telescopes.
thanks for watching. I hope you guys have plenty of clear skies.